Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here. You can check out everything at Sorgatron.com. Follow my newsletter. All kinds of fun stuff going on. We have a lot of projects, a lot of uh, just a lot of good stuff happening, man. It is, it's a really good time uh, around here, and I'm really digging uh, all the fun stuff going on. And uh, check out our webinars, intros to podcasting, a lot of some stuff on social media with uh, some other friends uh, here with Sidekick Media. Uh, is the name you guys are going to be hearing a lot of in the near future. So I want to talk about let's let's talk technology today and 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 some of the, some of the ideas I, I had. We're going to talk here uh, about being a digital nomad uh, coming up in the week and what that kind of means in my head. Um, but I want to talk about hardware before we get to that. Uh, you know, of course, in the past few weeks we've had some really interesting announcements. Microsoft with their Surface Pro, which is like their like premium, they're making their own thing and think this is what their PC should be or at least their tablets, their convertibles, and, and actually coming out of left field and having a Surface Book, a, a laptop. It looks, it looks like a $1,500 laptop, actually, uh, at least for de- half-decent specs. Uh, but it's a detachable. It's a convertible. It's, it's, it's that kind of idea, right? There, there is something in the keyboard. I think there's an actual graphics chip in the keyboard. But you detach it. It's a Surface. It works independently. It works great. And there you go. Um I, I think that's really interesting. And then also the Pixel line, uh, the, the Chromebook Pixel. Uh, I had my hands on one when I got to go pick up my Google Glass way back in the day when I went to New York City. I think it was my last trip to New York City now I think about it. But anyways, ooh, I need to go back. I'm way overdue. Uh, but, you know, nice hardware, and they're, they're extending that by, by having a Surface Pro-esque Android tablet with a keyboard. And, of course, we have your iPads. Uh, we iPad Pros really kind of stepping things up here a little bit. Um, I, I think that's really important to look at. Like a hardware thing is happening. Of course, I'm a, I'm a Mac Pro kind of guy. I'm an iPhone kind of guy. I, I, I like Apple products, right? Um, even this computer in front of me uh, that, that we do some of our Hangout stuff on and, and, and screen capture stuff on is still a 2007 iMac. It is still ticking. Knock on wood. This is the time when it goes, right? Uh, you know, that, that build quality lasts versus, you know, these laptops... Uh, that that I get this Windows 10 laptop with these chintzy little uh, chintzy little mouse pads, uh, the, you know, uh, touch pads that just just don't work nearly as well and just frustrate the heck out of me. Uh, you know, th- I think that's really important. And you do get what you pay for, but even like this one is like a six hundred dollar, seven hundred dollar laptop, and it still just has the worst mouse ever. Not one I picked out. Just one that kind of inherited, uh, but still, I, I think I think when you take uh, Microsoft and they're saying we're going to make stuff of build quality, we're going to make it stuff uh, comparable to what Macs do, um, and 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 that you have a comparison point there of I just want good hardware, you know. And there is of course the the decision and the debates of I like my my stuff with on Mac OS X, I like my stuff on Chromebook, I like my stuff on just a good old Windows, you know, what the most recent Windows. Um, and everything's kind of coming along, and Microsoft has really learned from their, I want to say, mistakes with Windows 8 and t- leading into 10, early early versions of the Surface uh, as as a, as an idea, and they're really dedicated to this, as as they stated several times at that keynote. But I I think I think this really elevates uh, everything as a whole, right? Um, you want a quality, quality computer, you picked up a Mac. You got something made of metal, right? A uh, glass pad, you know, a great retina screen. Everything pales in comparison to it and uh, until we've, we've had this uh, latest crop. And that trickles down. It certainly trickles down when we talk about Microsoft. They are, again, getting something that they hope you buy, but they're also uh, making something that they hope that the manufacturers kind of sit up and take notes and say, oh, I guess we should do something of that line. And hopefully do very well, which is very hard, I know, in a very commodity market that the uh, that the uh, PC market has become. But hopefully it's excited by the ideas of these these tablets and these convertibles and these and just really really good hardware, right? Um, and I think it certainly certainly makes a difference to people that do travel, can put money into something, need something reliable, especially for business. I don't want something throwaway for business. Uh, that's where I struggle with. I would live like a Chromebook, but I couldn't live on a Chromebook because there really isn't a well priced, decent quality Chromebook unless you jump to about twelve hundred dollars. And at that point, you do feel kind of hampered by that by that OS. 
And I think it's a really interesting idea to see what they're doing there. I mean, how even with the phones, and now no, the phones aren't very successful for Windows. Um, I, I try to, when I run into somebody with a Windows phone, try not to phone shame them, you know, uh, as, I, as I've run into a couple in the, in the last few weeks. They're very good phones. They are seriously very good phones. And it's a very good operating system. It's just not as well adopted or as mature as what you get out of Android and iOS. And I, I think they're fairly interchangeable. It's just your preference at this time. Well, you can do this here. You can't do this here. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. And, and, and I think Apple-wise, I can periscope on both. I can tweet on both. And and, 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 and it works. Um, but with those Luminous series uh, that they, they got from Nokia, very high-end, very nice, and I can definitely see the appeal. And unfortunately, I don't think we have as many Microsoft fanboys, uh, at least passionately enough, as we did. But I think you're getting them back when you look at these Surface devices. I've had a few here in studio from our buddy Chilla, and they just look really, really nice. So I, I, I think it is worth taking another look at Microsoft, at Windows. Um, would I get a Surface? I don't have a need for a Surface. Um, I, I am just not in the need for new hardware in general. I mean, I'm, I'm using an iPad 3. Uh, for the most part, and it serves me just fine. But even as I stated on the awesome cast this week, I can see myself with an iPad Pro, the 12, 12 inch, 12 ish inch one. It's a little bigger than this. Yeah, I guess it's two of these side by side, and that's basically it. Um, screen wise, I could definitely see myself with that as uh, video grows. As as you know, I'm already using. I was already using iPad ones for my teleprompter and uh, the idea of uh, TouchCast software that uh, Z. Uh, has uh, has shown me. I, I thought it was very tremendous, um, and a lot of a lot of power um, in these things these days. These iPads, and, and to see that, and and yes, the kind of debate. Well, you can do more with the Microsoft Arc system. You can run Photoshop. Do everything. It's more flexible. Yes, but then you look at the Adobe products on these things, and on, on the on the iPads and on the Android devices, and there's a lot of flexibility there too. Now, depending on what you need to do that could lead you to still going to a PC. And I think that's a very, uh, again, again, a video editor, a professional video editor is not going to be walking around with an iPad, I don't think, solely in the next five years. Ten years even, maybe? But as we watch this convergence is what's going to happen, that may change. The, the iPad Pro may just run Final Cut Pro X. I don't think I'd be too against that if they adapted appropriately. And there and the capabilities in there, and, and I mean they're going to have to add and, and have a lot more ability and flexibility if I'm really going to move to that. Um, and and no, they're not close to it yet, but you're sort of seeing the convergence. You're sort of seeing that connection and connecting the dots to see where this is going. Hell, iMovie's running 4K on an iPad. No matter how new it is, I think that's very impressive that you get it in such a small or double this size package. So. Let me know what you think about the uh, hardware revolution that's happening right now. Quality builds, quality products. Um, do you have any of it? Are you eyeballing any of this? Are you slobbering over uh, uh, some of it because you wish you could afford it but don't really find the need for it? Let me know at Sorgatron on the Twitter and uh, and let me know what what's going on with that. And uh, again, Microsoft, Mac, or uh, Android, or a Chrome OS. What are you into? What are you into, man? Let us know. Check out next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.